This is Mr. Nas Daily, and that's me with him on stage at the Nas Singapore Summit. Very talented. Are you looking for a job? And this is the story of how I got to that point. It's been four years since I started my content creation journey. I posted my very first YouTube video on 20th of May 2019 with zero subscribers. Feels like a long time, yet it kind of feels like I just started yesterday as well. Since then, so many things have happened. I became a homeowner, a parent, and even got engaged. For those four years, I juggled creating content as a side hustle. But at the beginning of this year, I finally decided to take the plunge to leave the corporate world to become a full-time creator. I had one video that went viral in Singapore and that helped me get over my first 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, which officially got me monetized. That number steadily climbed to about 3,700 followers around 2nd November 2022. And after that, everything felt like it came to kind of a bit of a standstill. My YouTube metrics were disappointing. My follower count continued to be stagnant. I didn't see the growth I wanted fast enough and I was losing so much hope in this dream. It was also a pretty lonely road. Most of my friends are still in big tech corporate, which was my past life. Although I had their support, none of them could truly understand what I was going through. For a long time, I had associated my identity with being a Googler and when I left the company, part of me was lost and perhaps still mourning for not being part of the Google family. Despite all that, the pull to creating content was still super strong. Because I was so interested in learning how to create videos, I put myself through two awesome YouTube courses, Part-Time YouTuber Academy by Ali Abdal and Matt Diavela's Master YouTube course to grow my filmmaking foundations. I studied other creators and analyzed their filmmaking styles. I continued to learn about audio and color grading and still not great at it to be honest. And I continued to put in the hard work to hone my craft. I scripted and filmed for hours at end. I put intention into every shot. I was anal about the details in my edit and sound design. I tried to post as consistently as I could and I just kept going. Eight months into this journey, I continued to worry about my finances because adjusting to freelancer life from a corporate background was not easy. And I had so many adulting obligations to fulfill. So as a precautionary measure, I started to apply for full-time roles in various companies for roles I knew I could do but wasn't particularly interested in because it wasn't in the field of filmmaking or YouTube. And with this job market, it was no surprise that I got rejected by every company I applied for. It sucked to be rejected, but I kind of knew that I was secretly happy that I didn't get the job as well. The instant I knew NAS Summit was happening, I immediately put my money down for an early bird ticket because I just wanted the opportunity to meet and mingle with other creators. A few weeks before the summit, another interesting email comes into my inbox. The NAS team were looking for creators to be roasted live on stage. This basically meant that Nasir himself would be looking at our channel and he would be giving us real-time feedback on our work in front of the 1,000 folks who were at the summit. Of course, a roast generally involves poking fun at a creator's work. I thought about it for two seconds. Would I be comfortable with getting criticized on stage? Then I decided getting any actionable feedback on my video would be insightful. So why not? Getting roasted would be a small price to pay. What the heck? It'll be good content to be roasted anyway, right? So I signed up and two days before the summit, I get added to a WhatsApp group saying I got selected to be roasted. I was both excited and nervous at the prospect. Y'all ready for this? The atmosphere at NAS Summit was electric. You could tell that everyone was there to make friends and talk about content creation. The vibes were really good. The roasties. Roasties? The people who were supposed to be roasted gathered ahead of time and seated near the stage. So basically, I had a front row seat to see two creators get roasted before me. And man, it was not pretty. Comments were brutal, but in a very objective way. In any case, I had already decided that I would go in with an open mind. And I was a little nervous at first. Strangely, as it was approaching my turn, I began to feel really calm. And when it was time to go on stage, a wave of confidence hit me and I went up to stage to take my place in the circle of life. Uh. Wish me luck. Wish you luck. <laughs> Not a sir. Hello. Hello, man. Hi, Nasir. Nice to see you guys. Of course, we got to document this time. Oh my God. Hi. Hello. I have bad news for you. Oh dear. This will not go viral. Okay, ginger, ginger, ginger. 
self-development creator journey to 100k sub new videos every week. Pretty cool, nice, nice little photo, we like it. Nice, it's easy to find you, nice. If I'm a brand, I go there, I get an email, copy, paste, send, let's work together. Easy to find. Your job is to be easy to find. Take us the volume. You are very talented. Thank you. Are you looking for a job? Yes, yes, I am. And look at the way you take the clock. Look at how clean it is. I'm actually used to write very clean thoughts. Okay, first of all, you have talent. You have talent, and I think that's really good. You have talent. <laughs> Thank you. Um, second of all, you're very artistic. You're very artistic. So there's a difference between an artist and an engineer. Our artist thinks with their right brain, and engineer thinks with their left brain. Okay? The best channels are the ones where an engineer and an artist come to the room together and make a piece of video. You are focusing a lot on the colors of the video. You are focusing a lot on the audio quality. You're focusing a lot on the framing. But you're not focusing enough on the content itself and the, and the format. My recommendation, kill the podcast. You are what's interesting, not the guests. You are what I love. I don't love the guests. Tell me about your life, your ideas, in short format. Put it on YouTube Shorts, put it on TikTok, put it on Instagram, put it on Facebook Reels, and good luck. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. As I got off stage, the feeling I had was indescribable. I was literally on cloud nine. It was like all the work I had done for the past four years actually had some sort of substance to it. It's funny that I had to wait for a big creator to validate my work for the imposter syndrome to evaporate. But we're all funny like that, aren't we? It isn't until a figure of authority says you're good at something that you finally believe the work you do is actually good. It was an important moment for me because I finally knew like, hey, yes, I'm headed in the right direction. It's not all in my head. The light at the end of the tunnel was starting to glow again. Plus, I could potentially have the chance to work at Nas Daily, a job in the field of my interest. What more could I ask for? After that whole session, lots of really nice folks came up to say hello and I even got a few potential business leads for my side hustle. So it all leads back to this. Keep putting yourself out there. Even if it scares the shit out of you, even if you're uncomfortable with the thought of it. Because let me tell you, by the end of it, you'll have no regrets. Just by showing up and doing things, you'll provide yourself with proof that you're actually super capable of doing amazing things. Through every tough situation I've been through in the past, there's never been a moment I've regretted putting myself out there. Doing a 20-minute speech at Create the World was one of them. I remember that part of me wanted to cancel and back out, but I didn't. I literally forced myself to do it and practice, and I was so proud of myself after. We often think, oh, all these people have the luck and opportunity. Well, I think by continuously putting yourself out there, you are manufacturing your own luck and opportunity. As they say, luck is preparation meets opportunity. If I didn't put myself out there for the NAS Summit or for the roasting opportunity, none of this would have happened. I felt like the stars just really aligned. Like Monsieur just happened to pick the last video I posted, which at the time of producing that video, it felt like a mini filler episode for the channel, but somehow it caught his attention. The only other thing I would say is to believe in yourself and be patient on the journey you're on. It's definitely easier said than done because patience is something I still struggle a lot with. It's going to be long and hard. <laughs> It's going to be long and hard, but if you surround yourself with your community and the right people, it's going to be such an incredible journey. At the time of filming this, I'm only at 4,359 subscribers, very much behind hitting my goal of 10,000 YouTube subscribers by the end of this year. So if you're new here and you like what you see, you know what to do. Any support is much appreciated. And of course, thank you to all of you who have been here with me throughout this whole journey. But I'm going to take my own advice. I'm going to keep putting myself out there and continue to manufacture my own luck. And who knows, by this time next year, what new possibilities could happen.